Hey, everybody, how we doing? Okay, it's Friday, April the 6th, and it's WrestleMania weekend. And that is time for my WrestleMania predictions for 2018. First of all, to all my friends out there from Facebook, including Hammer Tunis and John Tories, Vince Barry, and many others that are in New Orleans, and First Class Vlad and everyone else, have a fantastic time out there. Don't get into too much trouble and enjoy the show and all the other stuff that goes with the Big Easy. A lot of serious stuff ahead of me this week with me and others, real serious, but WrestleMania is the great escape, and I'm going to give you my predictions for some of the matches, or all of the matches, if I remember what they all are this weekend. Okay, the cruiserweight, I've been told by my friend Kevin that the cruiserweight title match is on the pre-show, sometime between five and seven. And I believe Cedric Alexander will become the Cruiserweight champion from 205 Live. I don't have a lot of interest in the match because we don't watch 205 Live now. And since good old Enzo got the gate, they really don't even feature that on Raw anymore. There are two battle royals, which are also on the pre-show, I believe, between 6 and 7 p.m. on the USA Network on that portion of the pre-show. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Again, it's another one of those deals. I don't even know who's in it, really. Um, I'm thinking I can't make a good prediction when I don't know who's in it. And it's the same thing with the Women's Battle Royal, which is also coming up on the pre-show between 6 and 7. I have no idea who are in the matches. And I know some of the people that are in it. But I will not make a prediction on the men's. First of all, it's really not that exciting to me. There's no title shot attached to the winner or any of that. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I'll pick Dolph Ziggler for the hell of it, just because I know he's in it. For the women, I'm going to pick Becky Lynch, because Becky Lynch never wins anything big, it seems like. Sasha and Bailey, I know, are also in that. But they've got their feud against each other, and I feel kind of bad they don't have a match on the main show. But I'm going to pick Becky Lynch to win the Women's Battle Royal. Now, on the main show, again, I don't know if I remember all the matches. Anybody can reply to this if they want to, and if I forget a match, then I will predict it. <laughs> Let's see now. Let's do tag teams. I have Braun Strowman will win the Tag Team Championship against the Bar. And my prediction for his partner is Bray Wyatt. I just have been thinking of Elias and Bray Wyatt, and there have been rumors of Batista, there have been rumors of Rey Mysterio, which would work as well. Um, and I think if Rey is healthy, that could happen. But I'm going to err on the side of caution right now and say that Braun will use someone on the roster. And I'm going to say Bray Wyatt, with a slight character change maybe, and Braun will win the Tag Team Championship from Cesaro and Sheamus. The SmackDown Tag Team Championship, the Usos, New Day, and the Bludgeon Brothers. Oh, yeah, three words to say in the prediction of that one. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. Don't you feel sour? Clap your hands for the tag team champions and feel the power. Oh, my God. All right, New Day wins the tag team belt from SmackDown. All right, let's see. Intercontinental Championship. This one, looking down the card, you know, when you consider all the storylines and the different things that evolve from this event and what could 
Evolve out of Mania, which is always exciting too, with SmackDown and Raw. This one is one that I'm having a very difficult time picking. The Miz defending versus Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. Now, Seth Rollins is probably my favorite singles competitor in the WWE. The Miz still is the greatest on the mic and one of the most underrated in the ring. And Finn Balor is just great. Anyways, I'm going to say Finn wins the Intercontinental Championship because I think Seth is going to be pushed to higher things, and that would set up a Finn and Miz program down the road, which I think would be very entertaining. So your new Intercontinental Champion, Finn Balor. All right, the women. There's a women's championship match between Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax. Finally, Nia gets a championship and wins the Raw Women's title, in my opinion. And in one of the matches I think is going to be a highlight of the show, Asuka and my favorite ladies wrestler, Charlotte, will battle. It's one of these deals where I hope somebody wins, but I think somebody wins. I hope Charlotte wins and breaks the streak, but I believe Asuka wins the match and wins the championship. Okay, I don't even know what else is on the show. There's a lot of matches, and I'm missing matches all over the place. Well, okay, the World Heavyweight Championship. All the internet marks are sight, and I think this will steal the show. I really do. And although a lot of people don't think this is going to happen, I'm going to predict AJ Styles retains the WWE Championship in this match. And I think we're going to see that in a great match the fans will be talking about for a long time. AJ retains the title. United States title, four-way match. Bobby Roode, Jinder Mahal, the champ Randy Orton, and, of course, Rusev. Many people think it's going to be Randy Orton, but I'm going to think that it's finally going to be called Rusev Day. Your new United States champion, Rusev, my prediction. Okay, what else we got on the show other than the main event and the tag match? Okay, pretty easy pick is Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle defeating Stephanie and Triple H, but that one seems like such a slam dunk. I'm not 100% confident that there won't be a run-in or some other issues in that match. You know, The Rock could show up based on his past history in that situation. But I will go with the chalk there and take Ronda and Kurt to win the match. Universal title. Man, I hate to say it, but it's got to be Roman. It's got to be Roman Reigns winning the title, if not for the fact that the fans, I think, even if they're still not invested in Roman Reigns like Vince wants them to be, I think, for the sake of business, you need somebody that's going to defend the title on every pay-per-view. He's going to have raw title defenses. So Roman Reigns wins the title. And I believe that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are going to defeat Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan, and the reason I say that, and I'm changing my opinion on this, I've been reading a lot of stuff, and the reunion was too easy with Daniel and Shane. I think somebody's going to turn here. I think it's going to be Shane. And the winners, Owens and Zayn. I think those are all the matches. If not, I don't know about Cena and Taker. I don't know. I want to be surprised. So reply, and if I missed anything, guys, let me know, and I'll send a prediction in. I'd like to hear your predictions. 
Enjoy the show.